Hi there. Making a new friend? Stim crate should be here. Wait, can you carry more? Thanks, BD1. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, 
81, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Go! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Patoli V fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look. Before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. I'm busy. I gotta figure out what to cook next. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there. I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. BD-1? Keep an eye on Cal for us.
Where are we headed? this good since I graduated first in my class at the Lateron Space Academy. I wasn't aware Lateron had an academy. Yeah, it was new, back in the day. You probably don't get around that area much. So what did you train on? Name it. Fighters, freighters, short range, long range, whatever. I flew circles around everybody. You flew freighters in circles? Yeah, it's all they really allowed me to do. I was so good, though. You should have seen me. Get over here, kid. We're about to land. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Uh, copy that. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Edie wants a helpful droid. He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts.
Good work. Oh, we did it. We did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship. The Manus. Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day, when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. Nice landing, Grease. Me? Oh, yeah. Not a problem. It's easy for a skilled pilot like myself, especially when flying a ship like this. <laughs> this baby was a steal. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't steal it. I bought it. Well, I sort of, I almost, I mean, I took out a small loan. <laughs> Big loan, actually. No, it's fine. Look, we're all fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't you have Jedi stuff to do? Get to it, kid. Been just you and Seer for a while? Oh, yeah, she's great company. <laughs> what about you? How long were you alone on Bracca? Oh, I wasn't alone. I had, uh, people. Friends? It's hard to have friends when you have secrets. Uh, don't worry about it. Friends, friends are overrated. <whistles> what did that say? He said, we're all his friends. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. What do you want? You're up to something. <laughs> Nothing gets past old Greasy. I'm watching. something BD1? What was in there? Scanning again?
Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. What? Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis. We would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Okay, I'll look. Good job. Can't open it. Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a crate. It fits. Thank you, BD. 